Hey, thanks for watching. This is part two of my Tanoa zombie outbreak video. I'm just doing kind of a playthrough of my map or scenario that I made. And uh, we'll see how far into the city I get. I don't have a whole lot of good guns right now, but I got enough to at least get partway into the more infested areas. I like to use third person to make sure nothing's around me before I go out of these buildings, because a lot of times, for some reason, this style of building, the zombies will either, like cram up in the uh, doorway area or along the outer wall of it and they'll get you when you come out and you don't expect it. <laughs> Better get moving out because I'm sure the nearby horde heard that. They're right up in that tree line over there. I did make the zombie spawn somewhat random, but there's like an 80% chance of a horde being over there, so I'm not going to risk it. No loot crates spawned over there by the docks, so I guess I'll keep on moving. Once in a while, random weapon attachments and stuff will spawn in this building, so we'll see what we got. Looks like there is a crate in there. Hey, a sidearm. Not my favorite sidearm, but a sidearm nonetheless. That is one of my favorite optics, though. And some Mosin ammo and stuff. I'm surprised there aren't more zombies in this area. Usually there's at least three or four up near these two buildings here in this white warehouse. It's kind of strange. Of course, right after I say that, I hear a couple of them. I don't think they're anywhere near me, but I still am going to keep my guard up because the spider zombies are pretty quick and they like to run around corners and they can get up on you quicker than you realize. As you can probably tell, me being in the area has aggroed at least a few of them, so they'll probably be heading my direction. I'm going to try to keep moving. If I keep moving without switching weapons from this Mosin, though, I'm probably going to get overwhelmed. A lot of times you'll round a corner in the city here, and there'll be like ten zombies standing there waiting for you. And they're not all the slow ones either. It seems like no matter what gun you're using, it's hard to hit the spider zombies because their friggin' heads down between their arms. There we go. Allowing those spider zombies up close to you usually causes a shitstorm because even if you're using automatic weapons, it can be hard to hit them in the head because you got to aim almost straight down at your feet when they're chasing you because their head's down so low. I spawn some civilian planes in and they fly over the city sometimes, so I think I keep hearing these air conditioners in these buildings and thinking it's planes going over. There's a guy creeping up on me. Oh, hey, that wasn't a bad shot at all. These crates always have big stuff. There we go. Something on the AR platform, kind of. It'll give me better accuracy and better rate of fire and stuff, and I'll throw an optic on it and maybe try to hit them from longer range. Dang, that guy's about to get dangerously close. And he's done. Friggin' spider zombie back there. But yeah, if I would have stayed in there looting stuff any longer, that guy would have been right on top of me. Can't seem to get him worth a shit. Hold still, you little bitch. This thing spaz around so much. Oh, this is terrible. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna start. Oh, God. Here's another one. pretty much barrel stuff that guy. They're definitely coming at a lot faster rate now. They Well, that definitely didn't do me any good. 
the way this particular mod works, if you take more than like one hit from a zombie, it immobilizes you for the most part. You can just barely walk, so it gets super dangerous to get that close to him and take a hit like that. I didn't realize they had that kind of reach either. See if I can't take this guy out with a sidearm. I'm not a big fan of this gun. In real life, it's a great gun, but in this game, it's kind of light feeling for me. And that was a terrible series of shots that I took. Oh god. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. That was just pathetic. I heard some more of them shrieking. I'm sure they're heading this way. Here we go. Let me see if I can redeem myself for that terrible series of shots I took there a minute ago. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna run now. It's one thing to hit stationary or slow moving targets when they're like shooting back at you, but it's another thing entirely when you got guys sprinting at you. I gotta get used to fighting zombies and being close to them and stuff. If you're wondering why I can carry so many guns and still sprint for seemingly forever, it's because I got the uh, fatigue mod running, but it doesn't get rid of the uh, shakiness when you get hit by the zombies, so you still have trouble aiming once you've been wounded, even if you use the first aid kit and stuff, so that kind of sucks. I think this building connects to another one, so I should be able to run across and kind of escape the zombies that are forming at the base of this building. Let me see here. I want to try out that AR. Go ahead and drop the moves, and I don't need it anymore. And that's not how you drop stuff. There we go. Use the AR-10 thingamajig. That's basically what it is, I guess, is an AR-10 equivalent. Let's see how this works. I like the small, skeletonized, flip-up iron sight things. That's what I got on one of my ARs. I know they're down there somewhere. Let's see if I can jump onto here. Oh dang. There's one. Let me just heal real quick. They can't do anything about it. Okay. Oh, that's bullshit. There we go. There's a weird clipping error there for a second. I want to throw an optic on this and see how it does from a distance. That's my favorite optic, by the way. I use that on a lot of weapons. Nobody down that way, it don't look like. Go ahead and try this one, I guess. Switch from the red dot. This is a good optic too, this is one of my favorites as well. I don't like the higher magnification stuff usually. I'll go ahead and get off of this roof, I guess. Nobody around to hit. It sure sounds like there's a bunch of them near me. Don't know where they are though. Probably right around the corner. I might switch to the MP5 just to go around close quarters like then use the AR-10 when I see somebody long ways off that's probably a better idea there's a guy let's see if I can take him out sometimes there's a horde up that street so make sure they're not there alright well I guess I'll switch back All right, not the red dot. There we go. Should be zeroed pretty good. There we go. I like that. Silencer is handy for this gun. Wonder where I can find one of those at. Now I'll switch back to the MP5. The MP5 is pretty good when you don't have iron sights, but when you're using iron sights trying to shoot those spider zombies, you, you can just forget it because the sight's kind of glitched in the game anyway. It's really short front sight based thing and you can't hardly get a sight picture. There's a bulldozer crash or something going on. Forgot I put that in there. Dang spider zombie. And he's spazzing out. I'm just gonna try to run for now, I guess. Oh. 
Sometimes that destroyed tank has a rocket launcher spawned in the crate behind it, but it's not there now. This guy's not letting up anytime soon. My guy is fatigued like crazy. Just from getting hit, obviously running doesn't do it because of the mod though. Let's see if there's loot in this pagoda looking building here. And there's not. Shit. Part of that's just my own fault though. I get used to shooting at the heads of people instead of center mass. It's kinda hard when they're running at you, like I said. I'm just gonna run for now. These white buildings always get me killed though, I don't like going in those. There, finally. Some more of them on the way though. You can never shut these doors, I think they're glitched or something. See if I can't leave a tripwire bomb there for them though. Some of the time they won't even enter these buildings and other times they will charge in here like there's no tomorrow so it's really about a half and half probability I guess for them to do that. Doesn't look like I'm being chased now though so maybe they'll leave me alone until I leave. Looks like there's a few of them forming down there. Let's see what we got here. I'll take that can. That's about all I need. Don't want to grab that rifle. It is a good rifle, but I don't need it right now. The ammo is kind of scarce for it too, and I'm good, I guess. Well, this is a bad idea walking down here. This is probably gonna lead to some bullshit. But y'all get to the door and they'll run in there and act crazy and blow me up, probably. Here we go. Oh, good lord! I knew it. He was literally standing next to it, waiting. I think. Shit. Let me heal myself. Oh god. Oh boy. My guy won't sprint for some reason. I'm wounded still. It's like glitching against. What is going on here? It's really buggy all of a sudden. Oh, I can't stand up. What's that? Stand up? Shit. No. No, something. Probably it. Ah. Well, that's the close of the first attempt at making it through the city. I'm going to try it again at some point, but that's where I'll stop for today. Looks like things went pretty shit there at the end. That was partially my own fault. Partially just bad luck. And there comes a crap ton of them up the stairs. Looks like there's a horde nearby anyway, so I probably would have died regardless. That's about all I got for this video. Thanks for watching.